Module 3. Western European Politics. The Intricacies of British Politics, A Jocular Journey Through Cabinets and Crises. British politics are a wondrous labyrinth of procedures, personalities, and, occasionally, palpable pettiness. In this chapter, we'll embark on a whimsical wander through the hallowed halls of British political power, with a special focus on a particularly spicy episode, the saga of Nick Clegg and the boundary changes. Strap in, it's going to be a bumpy, yet enlightening ride. The Clegg conundrum, blocking boundary changes. Our tale begins with Nick Clegg, then Deputy Prime Minister and leader of the Liberal Democrats. Mr Clegg found himself in a bit of a pickle when the Conservatives, his coalition partners, decided not to back reforms to the House of Lords. In what can only be described as a political tit-for-tat, Clegg, feeling the coalition contract is broken, retorted by blocking changes to parliamentary boundaries, a move that was seen as beneficial to the Conservatives. This political manoeuvring illustrates the intricate dance of power and compromise inherent in the British political system, especially under a coalition government. It's a system where decisions can hinge not just on policies, but also on personal and party dynamics. Comparing cabinets, Britain versus the United States. Moving on to a transatlantic comparison, let's ponder the British cabinet and how it stacks up against its American counterpart. In the UK, cabinet members are usually members of parliament, chosen by the prime minister. They are often appointed from the ruling party or, in the case of a coalition, parties. These appointments are as much about political acumen as they are about expertise in a particular field. On the other side of the pond, the US president nominates cabinet members who are then confirmed by the Senate. These individuals are often experts in their respective fields, with less emphasis on their political clout. Interestingly, they don't need to be members of Congress and, in fact, often aren't. Responsibility-wise, British cabinet members are responsible for specific government departments and are accountable to Parliament. They need to navigate the party politics of Westminster, ensuring they maintain support within their own ranks. In contrast, US cabinet members are primarily advisors to the president and heads of their departments, focusing more on administration and policy implementation than on legislative maneuvering. The intricacies of French politics. The agricultural paradox. France, known for its rich cultural heritage and influential political history, presents a unique paradox in its agricultural sector. It's intriguing how the vineyards of Bordeaux and the wheat fields of Normandy hold more sway in the political arena than in the economic ledger. This situation is akin to an old aristocrat who has lost much of his fortune but retains a significant influence in societal affairs. The agricultural sector, while not the titan it once was in economic terms, still possesses a strong political voice, reminding us of the saying, old habits die hard. The unique case of union membership. Moving to the realm of labor unions, France dances to a different tune compared to its industrialized counterparts. In a peculiar twist, union membership in France is notably low. It's as if French workers treat union membership like the French treat fast food, widely known but not widely embraced. This low unionization, contrary to expectations, doesn't translate to a weakened labor movement. Instead, it reflects a unique aspect of French society, where influence doesn't always correlate with numbers. Women in politics, a rocky road to representation. The representation of women in French politics is a story of unfulfilled potential. Despite France's progressive image, the political elite club remains a tough nut to crack for women. Their representation is more like a drizzle in a vineyard than the desired downpour. This scenario puts France in an uncomfortable spot in Western Europe, where the glass ceiling seems thicker and harder to shatter. The mighty civil service. Now, let's turn our attention to the role of the civil service in French politics. Imagine a giant, deeply rooted tree in the middle of a garden, that's the French civil service. It has a large and robust constituency that often acts as a guardian of the status quo. Their opposition to budget or welfare cuts is as fierce as a French chef defending the integrity of traditional cuisine. This powerful presence ensures the central government remains larger than in many other countries, much like a chef who insists on a well-stocked kitchen despite the restaurant's size. The Economic Warning, A Cautionary Tale A recent article titled, IMF Warns Overtaxed France Risks Slipping Behind Italy and Spain, adds another layer to our understanding of French politics. The International Monetary Fund's warning highlights a critical challenge facing France, the balancing act between taxation and economic vitality. It's like a tightrope walker trying to maintain balance, one wrong move could lead to a significant fall. 
This scenario underscores the importance of economic prudence in governance, something the French political scene will need to navigate with the finesse of a seasoned diplomat. German post-WWII political landscape. Post-WWII, a new beginning. Post-World War II, Germany found itself at a historical crossroads. The country, now divided into four occupation zones controlled by the Allies, was undergoing profound changes. The western portion, known as West Germany, embraced a parliamentary democracy, aligning closely with western ideals and economies. It developed strong relationships with major Western powers and became a part of NATO and the European Economic Community. In contrast, East Germany, influenced by the Soviet Union, adopted a Marxist-Leninist socialist structure. The country was effectively split during the Cold War, creating two distinct German states with vastly different political and economic systems. The German political landscape today. Fast forward to the present and Germany stands as one of the world's most stable democracies and economies. However, this path wasn't smooth. The concept of late development plays a crucial role in understanding Germany's political evolution. Post-industrial revolution, Germany, like many nations, was playing catch-up with established powers like the United Kingdom. This rapid development brought about significant internal and external pressures, laying the groundwork for the complex political landscape we see today. The Turkish community in Germany a fascinating aspect of modern German politics is the Turkish community's role. Despite making up a significant portion of the population, political representation for minorities in Germany, including those of Turkish descent, is remarkably low. For example, there are only 14 federal lawmakers of Turkish background out of over 700 in the Bundestag. This lack of representation is compounded by the limited voting rights of the Turkish community. Many, despite having lived in Germany for decades, don't possess voting rights. This situation has led to a feeling of disenfranchisement and has significant implications for the political engagement and representation of the Turkish community in Germany. Implications and influences. The impact of Germany's historical trajectory on its current political system is profound. The lessons learned from its rapid development, the scars of the two world wars, and the division during the Cold War have all contributed to shaping a political landscape that is both resilient and adaptive. Furthermore, the situation of the Turkish community in Germany underscores ongoing challenges in minority representation and integration. It highlights the complexities of navigating a multicultural society within a democratic framework.